I'm back from my trip and that means there is one thing that I need to do right now and that is to play No Man's Sky. Guys, welcome back. I am back. Thank you for tuning in back. And what we're doing right now is extremely exciting. So if you didn't know, if you haven't played No Man's Sky yet, you progress and progress in the game. And I'm not very far right now and I'm about to get my first Atlas Pass or so Jimmy tells me. So we're going to talk to this guy right here. His name is a Specialist Polo. He is a Gek of the Gek race. And he should get... Oh, he's so weird. He should give us our Atlas Pass once we do this. We ch gotta transmit our species data. Polo passes over the data, muttering bitterly in the absence of familiar. Applauds wildly and hands me an Atlas Pass. Let's build that bad boy. So we're gonna go to our exosuit right here. Hopefully I have some space, which I do. We're gonna go like this and we're gonna build... Build one of those. I think we're gonna build another one too. Hopefully we can stack them, I'm not sure yet. Whoop, that's the wrong button right there. Okay, there's another one. If you guys don't know what you can do with these, these are used to unlock some stuff. It's like unlock, um, when I say unlock stuff, I mean like unlock special places and certain items and stuff. And you find them all over the map. Now what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go back in our ship and we're gonna go explore a little bit. I just wanna play right now. I'm not really in it for any certain reason i don't know right now i just want to play i want to explore i love this like space forging stuff there's a planet right to our immediate left i believe we're gonna go right there that looks nope that's a space station let's do a little space scan right here and we don't have anything on our radar i already went there i don't know why that's marked still uh because i got the anomaly and we're gonna go back to this bad boy so engaging ludicrous speed Three, two, one, go! Pfft. Just makes time so crazy. So what's something that I really find interesting about this game? I won't crash, I promise. But, oh, my burn up in the atmosphere, though. But what I find really interesting about this game is it gives you a time amount. Like, say, if you're going to travel somewhere and you're traveling at a steady rate, it'll actually give you a time that's accurate. Like, okay, if you were going this long for so long, like, it's so crazy accurate and it'll tell you like oh it'll take you 24 days to get to this place or something like that and then you activate your warp drive and it's like 10 minutes so we gotta find out and scope out an awesome place to land right here nothing interesting oh actually we'll go right here so we'll use our like no we're actually we can land right here it's in that cave we'll go like this initiating our landing sequence we have touched down on some interesting rock. Let's take out our little mining laser here so we don't get messed up. Uh, actually, I think I have my bolt cast. Now I have my bolt caster equipped. We're going to go over here. This is some sort of location. I've never seen one of these before. It looks really interesting. Hopefully, we can learn some... Whoa. I have no idea what this is, so this will be new for all of us. Oh, it's a Gek plaque. Okay. It's a landmark. I reach out and touch the beautiful stone marker, my mind filling with deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. Seek help with language. Oh, that's sweet. It's going to teach me a bunch of words. Nice. Now, guys, there's no face cam today because, personally, I think this game is just so... It's beautiful. It's created so well. And, oh, got some damium and then some iron right there. This thing's crazy. Oh, no, mining beam. Just... Got that iron. Okay, now what we're looking for is a something who knows what we're looking for we're just exploring right now but as i was saying oh it's very cold here 70 centigrade oh my gosh as i was saying it is this game is just beautiful it's so special it's not like any other game that we've ever experienced before and that's really unique um i think i think is this platinum or is this zinc oh we got some platinum silicates nice and some more thamium if you guys yeah here we go um, uh, nothing here, nothing here. Okay, here we go. Maybe we can see if we have any landmarks that we have not ex excovered, discovered yet. Um, there's a language right there. I don't have a bypass chip on me right now. I guess I could make one, but I'm really not that hype. Like, I don't need it that much. I think I've discovered pretty much everything on this planet. Oh, gosh, it's getting even colder. More Gek language. Distur despair? What? Okay, that's depressing. All right, so you can find some good stuff. Personally, I really need money right now because I'm trying to get a better ship, and it's so absolutely difficult, and I'm journeying way too far from my ship. I should go back no matter what. I don't know if I've discovered this bad boy yet. Is there another stone? No, I just... Yes, there is right there. 
What are you? Oh, I already discovered the species. So he's a calm animal. He won't attack me. That's really nice. I don't know what he is. Herbivore, apparently. We get some more silicates here. This is really nice. Oh my gosh. Guys, another thing. We are getting ever so much closer to the Rise of Iron. Oh, what do we got here? And I am incredibly excited. Like, I cannot wait. You're gonna die. I hate these little things. They just do a lot of damage. We only got one star. We're just... I'm missing so much. Dead. Nope, nope. Yeah. There's two of them now. Fly up, up, and away. He's dead. Um, inventory's full, so I can't pick up anything. Oh, the controls are so weird. Bolt caster. Now you're dead. Nice. It's down there. Oh, I was just there. Okay. So I already learned the language from there. We need to work our way towards our ship, which is right there. Ugly little thing that is. And then we can go over to that location. That discovery point, whatever. I'm still kind of learning the game. The learning curve on No Man's Sky is ridiculous. It is so difficult to grasp right away. There, it's not. There's no tutorial. It just kind of throws you right into the game. And I mean, that's fun in some regard, but in other times, it's just so freaking hard. So let's take off. I really need to charge my thrusters, actually. So we're going to just cruise around. I'll charge these with some plutonium because I have a ton of it. And then some photon cannons, good. All this stuff is good. Our hyperdrive needs a charge. I don't have any warp cells, though. Damn. Okay. So where was that? Let's get a scan. There it is, right there. So we can hold circle and get our pulse drive, which is a little faster. No, this is just, I think it's just our thrusters. Seven seconds, and we are almost there, guys. It is seriously so much fun. I mean, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it at first because it was a lot different than anything else I like to play. There's a whole lot of stuff going on the interwe interwebs on the internet right now about like how it was meant to be a Skyrim in space and how everybody expected that. Got another location. Nice. Now, I should be able to use one of my Atlas passes over here. There's going to be some loot in here. Let's not open that quite yet. We're going to turn... This can move. Transfer to our ship. Uh, all the plutonium. This stuff can stack. I don't know why it's not stacked right now. Carbon, carbon. Open this up now. Come on, give me some good stuff. <clears throat> oh, Gecknip. Okay. That's okay. I mean, you can always sell it, which is nice. Power canister. We sell those. They're no use to me right now. And anything else over here? There should be something in here. Hope. Oh, uh, there's another location. Wow. Open up. What do you got for me? Okay, so on multi-tech tool, uh, beam coolant, that uses iridium, that's neat, there's so many games that have iridium stuff, first aid, I'm fine on health right now, life support's good, there's a lot of plutonium around us, like a lot, actually my life support is not good, uh, might as well charge it, I mean, I guess, so now we should be just a-okay, there's so many different things around us, holy crap, we'll go to that one next. Might as well. And taking off. We could have shot those guys over there too. Where was it? Right there. Okay. 34 seconds. There's a... Oh my god, there's a lot. Wow. Lots of ships here. Hopefully we don't engage any in combat. It's space combat on this case. You die so quick if you're not prepared for it. Your ship has to be top tier. I really parked a long way away. The Erdo... The Erdubo? And another thing about this, it is so ridiculous. Like, this game is actually so freaking huge. It's so big. You could never explore it, like, in its entirety. What did I pick up over here? Okay, this requires an Atlas Pass. Let's see if we get anything from it. Um, restore point. You're going to give me my loot now, please. Oh, wow. That's actually good. Electron Vapor is... it's. See, it's not hard to get, it's just hard to make, because you have to... Okay, no, I'm not going to engage him. Probably our best read just not to mess around with him at all. Um, over here, what do we got here? Uh, Multi-tech tool. Nice. Rebound grenades. We already have that, so that's not really anything super special. Continue onward. Let's get some plutonium in this bitch. Here we go. Might as well. Plutonium is always good. You can use it to charge everything in your ship. We're going to get back in our ship currently. I think I'm poor right now, too. 225k, that's nothing. We're going to get back in our ship and go and discover that one other location, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I just kind of want to show you what the gameplay looks like. 
I'm not, like I said before, I am not super far, so anything that I'm doing is not really advanced, and that's gonna, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let's do a little scan here. I know there's something else right there. And it is right in the, sh the flats here, it looks like. Okay, ready? We're gonna try to shoot it here, right on top of it. Land, no, 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 that was horrible. I'm so far away from it. All right, um, that was really bad. I thought I was gonna be a lot closer. It's way the fuck up there. God damn it. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. Another Gek stone. Wow. No, is this Gek? This is... Another Gek plaque. And this one's not a... Tr uh... As I touch the obelisk, images of the planet's ancient past flood my mind. The terrible beginnings of the Gek have now been absorbed by the strange stone. Seek help! My knowledge increases. That's so good. That's only one word, though fly up on top of this bitch. Okay, here we go. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, that is interesting. So guys, that's gonna wrap it. Oh, what are you? There's an aggressive animal coming near me. Bolcaster! No, do not attack me. I hate these things. They're hunters. Dead, 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 dead. Oh, now you're dead. I, what is... What are you doing? What are you doing? We're just gonna fly away from him. He can go and fuck off. We're going to go back into orbit. And we're going to do it just like this. So launch thrusters at 25%. Aim straight up and just give her the beans. There's the moon. I haven't been to the moon of this planet yet. We have to go there sometime. Let's... Okay. Here's another trick. What is that? I've already been there. That's the space station. You guys are looking for thamium. Blow up these asteroids. That gives you just a shit pot. And you can... there's so many. You can just cruise around space... Blowing up these asteroids. It only takes about one shot to do it. And there you go. It's crazy. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, and when in doubt, guys, grind on. We'll see you in the next one.